Hey everyone, it's Tira with Rent Mason Bees. How are all of you doing? I wanted to do a quick video today because we're getting a lot of calls and emails um, wondering how the pollinator packages work, what's inside, how to hang them, swapping the blocks, all of that. So I just thought I'd do a really quick video today to teach you about your pollinator package. Thank you so much. We're noticing we have a lot of orders for pollinator packages. Um, pollinator package are two pollinators. So you have the mason, spring mason bees, and then you have the leaf cutter, which are the summer bees. And so inside your package, you're gonna get all your bees. And then I'm gonna show you really quick. Oh, that was a bee. Spring's coming soon. Oh my gosh. I think it was a bumblebee though. Anyways, I am going to show you really quick what's inside your pollinator package box and um, show you how to hang it up. I'm going to put it back up on my nail that I had last year. So let's take a look inside. So you're going to get your box and inside you're going to have um, all of the instructions on how to set up your pollinator package. This year we did pictures and examples of other hosts and how they have hung up their box. Just maybe give you guys some inspiration. Um, you're gonna get a return shipping label. Um, you re uh, prepaid for your ship two-way shipping already. You're gonna save this box. It's super important to save this box. You're gonna send your nesting blocks back in September. You have your brochure. You're gonna get your pollinator packet of seeds. You're gonna get your clay, which is used for your mason bees. You're gonna need to set up a clay hole and that'll be in another video that we'll do. And then this is the big question we're getting. What is all of this stuff? So let me show you. So inside here, mason bees come in cocoons. So they are in our refrigerator back in our uh, bottle shop and we transport 50 to 60 cocoons inside this PVC, PVC pipe. There'll be a little cold bag to keep them chilled on ice during transportation. And then just to show you, we don't encourage our hosts to do this because we don't want anybody, to, any of these little bees to get damaged, but in here are 50 to 60 mason bee cocoons. Mason bees hibernate in those cocoons all winter long. So in each one of these cocoons is a full grown bee. When temperatures reach about 55 degrees, that's when you'll start seeing the boys will emerge first and then the girls will come out about a week, a week and a half later. So that is your mason bee uh, tube of cocoons. The blocks I hear are getting a little confusing by people. So let me show you. So the mason bee block is the clear block, empty, nothing in it. When you watched our harvest video, which I'll link below, we sterilize all of our nesting blocks. We get them all clean and ready for the following season. So this block is all ready to go. Um, this is the mason bee block. The leaf cutter block is the other block. Now it has a black face that attracts the sunshine. And we plug up the rows of holes and we send you leaf cutter bees already inside the block. Leaf cutters are different than mason bees. They hibernate in uh, the larvae state over winter, uh, whereas the mason bees hibernate in the cocoons. There are teeny tiny little larvae inside each one of these holes. Um, there are probably about seven to 10, because they're so tiny, in their leaf sleeping bags. So each hole will have seven to 10 babies in here. Because they hibernate in the larvae state, it's gonna take them a while to grow into a full grown bee. So they have to get temperatures around 75 degrees before they start perking up, and then they're gonna eat the pollen loaf that mom left for them. It's gonna take them about four to six weeks to then grow into a full grown leaf cutter bee, and then they'll emerge. So this block is gonna be stored for now back in your shipping box. You're just gonna keep it in your shipping box in a cool garage or shed. Don't put it inside your house and don't put it in the fridge. And then you're gonna take your black house that already has a little hook on it. Mine's already set up from last year. And you're just gonna hang it up. Your mason bee block, the cardboard, you're not cutting the straps. You're gonna keep the cardboard. That's gonna to go towards the back. You're gonna insert that into, inside your house. And then when you are ready to put your bees out, now this is another big question we're getting right now because I know there's a lot of snow on the ground and a lot of cold temperatures. It's really important that they have food when they emerge. They've been hibernating all winter. They're gonna be really hungry. So if you have blooms that are already out and you're warm at 55 plus degrees, then you can put your mason bees out. If you don't have any food for them, just stick this in your refrigerator until you start seeing blooms and then you can put them out. They're totally fine to go from our refrigerator to the cool pack back to your refrigerator. Now, when the timing to put these out, that's a little tricky. Um, you're gonna need to make sure there's food. 
and they don't need 55 constant. Like your temperatures can drop down at night into the 30s or into the 20s. They just need that 55 degrees during the day. Our houses are painted black because it attracts the sunshine to warm them up. Remember, you want to have the south facing in the warm morning sun so that it warms them and then they'll, they'll go out. So when you have plenty of food for your mason bees and it's in the temperatures of 55 degrees, then by all means, it's time to put them out. So all you do is you take this little piece of tape off and you put the tube up here and that's it. Your mason bees will start emerging, boys first and then the girls when temperatures reach 55. I'm gonna link in the, in the links below the video on how to swap the blocks. This mason bee block is gonna stay in here and for about four to six weeks after your mason bees get done flying because they only live four to six weeks, then you're very gently going to remove this nesting block when you don't see any more mason bee activity. You'll remove this block you're gonna store it with the holes upright back in the box that we shipped everything to you. And then you're gonna take your leaf cutter block and you're gonna put it in, and this is in the summertime. This is when temperatures are now at 75 consistent all day long. Then again, like I mentioned earlier, the leaf cutters will wake up when the 75 degree temperature starts going, they'll eat the pollen and they'll emerge about four to six weeks later. Again, watch the full length video down below. I'll, I did a whole video last year on swapping the blocks. But for now, for those that have gotten the pollinator package, you're gonna set up your black house. Even if it's snowy outside, it's okay. You can get all this stuff set up right now. Set your, set your block in and then yeah, put your bees out once you get blooms, once there's food, temperatures re reach 55 and store the leaf cutter block in your shipping box until summertime. So um, I have lots of links I'm gonna share below. Visit our YouTube channel for more videos. You can always email me at info at rentmasonbees.com for questions and please sign up for our newsletter. I send all sorts of great information via our newsletter. You can find that on our homepage of our website. And um, yeah, give us a call if you need anything. Happy pollinating, thank you.